In the cave's fading glow of pre-conscious existence, where actions flowed like water and consequences were mere ripples in the vast ocean of existence, a turning point emerged. The vast terrain, raw and untamed, was a witness to the free reign of primal urges, where life in its flourishing form thrived unhindered. Lush forest was hiding the first tribe, a collection of beings bound by the shared rhythm of wind and the warmth of communal fires. Yet, with unity came divergence, with understanding came confusion, and with order came transgression. There, in the heart of this primordial gathering, a transgression was committed, a fruit taken, a territory invaded, or perhaps a trust broken. The action was instinctual, driven by instinct or perhaps hunger or desire, but its flint sparked throughout the tribe, introducing a disharmony foreign to their peaceful existence. The tribe, accustomed to the shared rhythm of existence, now faced a conundrum. How to address this fracture? For in this act, they glimpsed not just the impulse of one, but the potential unruliness of all. The shaman and ancestral spirit guide might have seen at this moment the inherent will to power, a force that binds and breaks, uplifts and oppresses. A council assembled in a dim light, shadows etched on the cavern walls. Elders with furrowed brows were thinking of means to heal to restore balance, to prevent the chaos. And so the first punishment was born, not as a simple act of retaliation, but as a symbol, a reminder of the collective responsibility they all carried. The transgressor, singled out and marked, was not cast aside, but given a task, to mend, to rebuild, to restore. It was both a burden and a path to redemption, an embodiment of tribal belief in change, growth and reintegration. So amidst the vast wilderness, where life's struggles painted tales of survival and unity, the first punishment became a keystone, a testament to humanity's search for balance and order. It was like the crafting of a spear, carving the sharp aspirations of individual desires against the sturdy wood of communal needs, both essential in the relentless pursuit of survival and understanding in the world. It was like the crafting of a spear, carving the sharp aspirations of individual desires against the sturdy wood of communal needs, both essential in the relentless pursuit of survival and understanding in the world.